We all know from school bench that a magnet has two poles. Like poles repel, unlike poles attract. And finally, we all use magnets in our everyday life. So much that anybody will hardly wonder if it is possible to magnetize a ball. But when we ask such a question, many of us will wonder where such a magnet would have poles. The first question is rather easy to answer. We can take any magnet and put it near a steel ball. We will see that a ball attracts a magnet. Consequently, a ball can be magnetized. But where are its poles? Poles location appear to depend on conditions under which a ball was magnetized. If a magnetic bar was used, for example, the south pole will be at the ball point that is nearest to the north pole of a magnet, and the north pole will be at the opposite point. And generally, a magnet can have more than two poles. Magnetic field can go in and go out of magnets in very different places, but you should remember that the number of inputs is equal to the number of outputs.